one of the forces behind the revolution is that we build things up even stronger and even greater for in the memory of the people that have fallen shaheed, that have become martyrs. شورداي سيود هازور حيدا ويسن دولة ترك نوفن دي فاجار عفن دخا سيفيلا ادف دي سيفيلا ادف دي This is Afrin, a peaceful majority Kurdish region in northwestern Syria. It has long been one of the centers of the feminist, democratic, and ecological revolution taking place in Rojava. It was one of the first places to free itself from Syrian government control and establish an autonomous administration. The YPJ, or Women's Defense Units, were established there in 2013. Afrin was a symbol of revolutionary democracy and equality for the entire world. We are a part of Syria. Afrin is a part of Syria. What we are demanding now for the north of Syria in order to stop the bloodshed in Syria, in order to say no for the war, no more war, no more people be killed, no more refugees, we have to build another alternative system in Syria, which is a democratic federal system in all over Syria. Turkey, they don't like that. Turkey, they don't want to have the federal system of the north of Syria. Accusing the Kurds, they want to divide Syria. They want to have the Kurdish state in the north of Syria which is not our project. Our project to have the coexistence of the people there. Our project to have the democratic project in the north of Syria. Our project to have all these people to live together with uh, the guarantee for each one their own rights. And now, starting from the west, step by step, we'll totally destroy this corridor. The Afrin operation has de facto started in the field. The Turkish invasion of Afrin began on January 20th, 2018. Erdogan sought to break the city's resistance through systematic violations of the laws of war. Homes, schools, and businesses were flattened by Turkish bombs. The ancient Hittite temple at Ain Dara was destroyed. Turkish forces bombed Afrin's main hospital, killing dozens of civilians. Even a humanitarian aid convoy, bringing food and much needed medical supplies, was targeted. The people of Afrin, besieged and outnumbered, resisted for over two months.
Kurds across Europe took to the streets, calling on their governments to take action. In days, the war planes didn't stop. Hundreds of civilians, women, children are being killed by this Turkish state and nobody can st st stop them. So this is the situation all the world should consider on should stop this brutality. If there is no support from Europe, Turkey wouldn't do these attacks, brutal attacks. We know that very well. So all we are asking just to implement rules and regulars and these Kurdish people should be included. On March 18, 2018, Turkish forces and their free Syrian army mercenaries took full control of the city. They stole everything they could carry and terrorized all the civilians who remained. Over 300,000 people were forced to flee with nothing but the clothes on their backs. They set up makeshift refugee camps where thousands of people still live today under harsh conditions. Why you put you from or you bring all the terrorists? from the Ghouta, from the Hummus, from the Idli, from the everywhere, you put it in our place, in our area, in Afrin. I'm going to ask again, and I'm going to, to wait for your help. Where are your help? When are you going to help our people, Afrinish people here? And there is also in Afrin, in Afrin, Erdogan, every day, every day, every, every hour, not every day. They kill, they kill Kurdish people, they kill Kurdish people. And you know, and you see, and you hear, everybody, everybody of you, to know everything. Don't close your eyes, don't close your ear, yes, don't close your ear. The nation, the nation in this, in this world, only the fight, the fight. They fight terrorists, they are Kurdish. Yes, they are Kurdish. Until this moment, they are fighting in Derizor, in Raqqa, in Hajin, every place in the world. So we want we want the help from you. We want the help. I think is this is, is not the help. Here, this camp no, must be not for Kurdish people. And I'm asking the President of the United States, Mr. Trump, again, again and again. When, when, when you are going to help us? <laughs>